Once again, welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, y'all. I had my input set backwards. My bad, y'all. Don't judge me. But um, once again, welcome back to another episode of the podcast of Live with Brian. For all y'all that don't know, I'm a holistic coach. I'm a holistic trainer, and I am so appreciative. What, what, y'all probably couldn't hear, but what I was essentially saying that like I'm appreciative of all the people that came yesterday. Like we had this live around the same time yesterday. I think this might be my new live time. Normally, I go live at night. Or, I, you know, I go around like I'm in Southern Louisiana, so I'm on Central Time. Normally, I go around like nine, eight, nine o'clock, depending on what I got to do. But um, thank y'all for the love. I see the hearts coming through. Y'all can really hit me now. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to just keep going live on at this time because, like, the people that's been coming through, the stuff we've been talking about and, like, just the reception and even the debates we've had because we don't agree on everything. You know, and, I, and that's my platform. Like, I love when people can come against, you know, I'm not saying I, I look for it, but, like, I don't I would hope that majority of my following Thanks for themselves is how, excuse me, is how I should say it. But welcome back to another episode, y'all. And I'm really appreciative for everybody that came yesterday. We had a time last night, huh? We had a time last night. It was, um, it was like 150 some of y'all yesterday. I forgot the number, but I haven't been going live in a while because for all of the people that's up in here, um, I've been working on my herbal licensing as far as like being able to distribute certain things that I want to. Um, so that's been, we in the clear for that. I have like maybe a few more days and then I'll be, um, I get the thumbs up. So I get to do a lot of, cause y'all know me, I have my digital protocols and stuff in my shop, but I want to do proprietary blends. You know, Brian was good. Who this is? Y'all know my name, name forever loving. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Um, but I was about to say, yeah, I, I want to do proprietary blends and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm on here. I'm the educational guy. You know, you go to my page and stuff like that. You get I, I just dropped my book. You know, everybody's getting a book right now about coaches, quick fixes and how to do this and how to do that, how to fix PCOS, how to was the true holistic cause and all that type of stuff. But, you know, just spreading my perspective. And I want to take it another step further. You know, like I personally consume herbs and I put a lot of my clients on herbs. We, we avoid medicine, if po you know, as much as possible. I'm, you know, I'm not one of those people that's completely against medicine, but it's like, you know, if we can avoid it or if we really don't need it, then don't do it because there's natural ways without the side effects. You know what I'm saying? But, um, let's just be real about it. You know, whenever people start, especially a lot of my clients, they get on these protocols that I give them because they're going through very severe, uh, chronic illnesses and it adds up. It, I really wish there was a way to where like, oh, well, I can give you these blends without it being three, four hundred dollars per round, you know. But like now, because it's been taking me a while, I even like I'm about to I'm, I'm about to start my second round of school and I'm going to go back for my master's in uh, herbology. But uh, I've been doing this for seven years. So I've been I've been doing this for a long time. But um, I just got clear with Star Wars Botanicals. And what I want to do is instead of giving people four hundred dollars, well, giving people four hundred dollars, I wish. Um making them get products that's like $400 because they have to be sourced properly. I want to make my own proprietary blends. So instead of you paying $400 for all of these herbs and you already don't know how to blend them, you already don't know you're going to come back to me with even more questions. I can give you something that's less than half of that, you know, and you can just, I can be your plug. I can do your blends for you, you know, and that's my, that's my thing right now. I want to, I want to be somebody who's going to educate as well as heal, as well as show you the way and make it as convenient for you as possible. So shout out to all y'all that's been praying for me. Shout out to y'all that's been motivating me and shout out to y'all that's still around. Even after the little hiatus I took, I know y'all see the change in numbers in my page. Like we almost at one 170,000 followers, but I haven't been posting as much, but that's because I have a lot going on behind the scenes, but for all y'all that keep showing up and for all y'all that still come and get this truth and coming well, i'm gonna say this truth get this perspective and coming and get this information from me and that's still showing up i appreciate you guys severely like i can't thank god enough for you guys for showing up and showing out every single time i touch tiktok every single time i touch down in general but let's get into another episode of live with brian y'all know how we do it so gotta lay out the house rules so I, I can't see the full list and i don't know who's new and who's not but i do see some new uh profile uh avatars up there and icons so what I need y'all to understand is this. I don't have a lot of rules. We can pretty much talk about anything. We don't even have to talk about holistic stuff. We can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. But we don't do the foolishness. Like, if we have a particular topic and we're talking about it and, you know, we, you know, we're respecting each other. Like, I've had people on here who was atheists and people who are Christians and we all went live on the screen and we had, they was, they was going, I mean, y'all, if y'all was here, y'all remember, they was going at it. You know, they even started attacking trans people. I moderated. Hey, that's not what we're doing. You can believe this. You can believe this. You can say this and you can say this. But when we get to the part of us disrespecting and demonizing and coming at people crazy, that's why I got to shut it down. Because you can converse and 
be in opposition of something without cussing somebody out or without you know what i'm saying like and you know sometimes things do get that heated it's a little spicy i like i like it the drama i'm gonna be honest i like the drama but at the same time you know you can't let things get that far so with all that being said that's really the only rules i have if y'all want to go live with me we can have a talk well actually we can't do that today because i don't my little talk back thing is not working right so if i were to go live with you on here i wouldn't even be able to hear nothing you're saying i'd just be able to see your mouth moving so but i will be answering questions so at any point in any time of this podcast if you want to um ask questions or compliment or interject or whatever like just boom lay it in there i'll get to it when i get to it and we'll keep it moving but our first topic of the day let's see i didn't even really write nothing down i was just excited um let's talk about you know what testimony our first topic of today we're going to talk about manifestation and why and 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 not just any manifestation i will be talking about vision boards and stuff like that but i want to i want to lace the ideology with the with the real life so i'll say and oh, before we start right here when you start tapping the screen there should be a meter right here and i'm only asking, i'm just going to ask y'all this just one time out of love because what likes do is throw me in the algorithm it gets me up out there you know it helps people see what we're talking about joins people to the party that's just how social media works so just all just this one time just look hit that you're going to be like tapping the screen this little bar is going to fill up once it fill up they should do like the little confetti thing like whoo you can stop tapping woo, all that type of stuff and that's your that's your seed that you sow for the day on the on the feed that's all i'm asking for i'm not asking y'all to go share i'm not asking y'all to go follow and this down the third y'all do what the lord tell you well, however the lord lead you baby you go do that but the only thing i ask of y'all is to do that before we start just to get the thing hot and i see the lights coming in peace and blessings and love to y'all appreciate y'all for that but let's get into this uh this manifestation so i was watching um this podcast i'm if y'all know me i'm a big i'm a big podcast person the reason why i even started my own but um I was watching this podcast and they were talking about like vision boards. And there was this one particular guy who had his son is a basketball player. He's a uh, he's a, a battle rapper and his son is a basketball player, young basketball player. And they they got together and it was like, well, we're going to make a vision board. We know we want to succeed and what we want to do for the rest of you. We want to accomplish. Let's write that out and get it, whatever. So they did it just as a father son thing. But, you know, he just tucked it away, put it in his closet and thought nothing of it of it. You know, as he's new to it, he didn't really know how to work through it or he just doing it just to do it. He sold that seed, little that he know, put it in the closet to be forgotten about. Right. So according to the story, he had um, he had missed his son's game. Oh, no, no. He was at his son's game and they was down by two. His son hits the winning shot for the game. That's that's event number one. His shot, his son hits the winning shot for the game, right? Going crazy, rah 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 rah. Dude has to be in like Toronto, I want to say. So he he gets out, and lo and behold, I don't know how many basketball people up in here, but he sees the one and only. I mean, was it Damian Lillard? Lillard I believe. I want to say. Correct me if I'm wrong. If y'all know who I'm talking about, but I believe it was Damian Lillard. I want to say. Was it Damian Lillard? Yeah, it was him. And um, or Paul George. One. No, 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 no. It was John Wall. It was John Wall. And, um, you know, dressed a certain type of way. He had, like, from what I remember, he said he had, like, the little scully on with the hoodie and stuff like that. And he was like, I'll be dad of the year if my son, you know, just bust down and hit, like, the game-winning shot. And I get John Wall. I get a video of him saying, hey, congratulations, such and such, on hitting the game-winning shot. Continue to do X, Y, and Z. Boom. All right. So, they do. He does that. He actually sees John Wall. He gives that video, sends that to his wife or his baby mom. I don't remember what their, what their relation is. But he was like, she was like, oh, you're going to be father of the year with this one. He's like, yeah, I know. So do that. Boom. The child gets that. So event number two, I believe it's the child's birthday coming up. And dude is going to make it like by the skin of his teeth. Yet again, he's in the airport and he sees, um, I forgot where he was, but like he had got like a Steph Curry. Um, what well, he did see John Wall again, but he got a Steph Curry um signed jersey, right? So he brings that he brings that back home to his son for his birthday. Just as they're his son flipping out, oh my god, his son! Ah, oh, he's going crazy and stuff like that. Lo and behold, he glances at the vision board or wherever it was just so happened to be placed at, and did y'all know that exactly how that boy had described? seeing um well what he had wanted stuff like that john wall well exactly how uh he, he described john wall as how his father had saw him got the video hit the shot and also he had on the board he had wanted the uh the jersey with the signed jersey with curry so he's trying to figure out he's like well my son flipping out but dang he's going a little hard little that he knew it was on the board you know and and that's my leading that's like my leading topic or my leading little motion before we really dive into it but like that hit me because i am yeah manifest manifestation is definitely real but that hit me all over again because I remember it's like seven months ago, seven months ago, like I had wrote down on my vision board what I want to do for the community, 
what I wanted to achieve, how I was going to get there and a few other things that was just extra. Right. So I think today makes month number seven. I want to say we in July. No, today makes month number number eight. Actually makes month number eight. So I was thinking, I just finished training one of my clients, the 60 year old client I was telling you about the other day. I just finished working out with her and you know, we just talking, talking, talking. And I put the podcast on, I watched that and it, and I just, I paused. I was like, wait a minute. And I just, and I just stopped because you get so busy doing what you're doing to achieve your goals. You kind of forget sometimes as humans. And like, I caught like, if y'all know me, I have really good photographic memory. Like I remember a face, the color, a memory before I remember somebody's name. That's just me. That's just, I could see something and it's in my brain. Like I can read something and I don't forget it. That's just how I am. And I caught a glimpse of like everything I wrote down. And then I, I thought about my life. I was like, wait, I'm living that right now. Like all that stuff I wrote down, all that stuff I was trying to do, all that stuff I had visions of and plans of and stuff like that. I'm literally walking in 90% of that right now. And I'm sitting here like, what like what and i can't even begin to tell y'all the last time i wrote down some of my vision board like i write down like you know my agenda and stuff i want to do i'm gonna go live at this time i'm gonna get this done i'm gonna answer these emails i'm gonna do this that and the third but i haven't really sat down and done a vision board in a while and i feel like that's confirmation and i feel like that's something we need to talk about today because thank y'all for the love i'm seeing all the lights coming through thank y'all for the love um and i feel like that's something we got to talk about today because we're living in a time to where it's like we're seeing some of the some of the biggest leaps and bounds of society happening within our face. If y'all know me, I might get a lot of flack for this, but she's just one of my inspirations. If y'all know me, I love these two women, B. Simone and her friend Megan. I love their podcast because I know nobody's perfect. I know they had some stuff and those speculation, all the stuff that behind that, which she didn't, you know, some stuff that between her and whatever. But when you sit down and listen to what they're actually portraying on the podcast, what they're teaching, when you take the life and the, and the uh, what they call it, the, not the scams, the uh, the press and all that stuff out of there. When you listen to what they're saying on there, do I agree 100 percent with everything they're saying? No, because I'm my own person. They're their own person. But the, the stuff that they're pushing as far as like how to be your own boss, how to manifest, how to line things forward, how to stay focused, how to push towards it and don't don't stop until you get your yes. All of that stuff, all of those ideologies, all of those things. I think that's my book. If that's my book, I'm about to spaz out because I was literally just thinking that I can't wait for my book to get here. I think that might be my book. And I'm going to show you all that if, if, if that is my book. But um, all of that's all of that stuff that, that she's talk, she talks about. It really motivates me, y'all. And it's like I love being surrounded by people that think like that because whenever we're all gathered together and we're all in that collective hive mind energy, but we're all doing our own things for ourselves and like somewhat conglomerating it together, crazy things start happening. Like after I get off of here, y'all, the stuff I'm about to write down on that vision board and I'm putting it like right here. I'm going to put it like where I can all because I'm always at my my desk. My, y'all can't see this, but like all this big desk stuff I have right here, right by my books and all of that. Like I'm going to see it every day and I'm going to work for it and I'm going to do it every single day and I'm going to make sure I stay focused on it. But like when I tell y'all it didn't it's crazy how you can think about something how you can write it down and put your intentions behind it and you stay pure to your path and to what you're doing and how it happens regardless you come in and how it happens regardless that's that's the book huh i think that's the book huh i was just talking about the book let me see it i was just telling him about the book oh, i about to say i ain't got no i ain't got nothing on me let me see yeah i'm strong y'all this y'all 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 Hold up. Nah, it's out. Well, it's about to be out. I lie. We're going to get it out. It's the Aries in me, y'all. Oh, oh, shit. Ah, Y'all see the book? Y'all see the book? Y'all see the book? My first ever book. Look at it. Look at it. My first ever book. Now, y'all know me. I'm a man. Ooh, let, me, let me look at it yeah with the smooth cover with the table of context with the chapters with the truth look y'all made a book i want y'all to see this i made a doggone book oh my god and if y'all want this book i have the digital copy on uh on coachbrian.com for 25 dollars. it cost me 170 something dollars just to get this hard copy for myself this is something i was gonna get for myself regardless but um but yeah, y'all, this is, man, this is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. My first book, 
my first book. Uh, ha! I put, hey, I put some, woo! Well, I put some work. I put some work into this stuff, dude. Like y'all don't like the amount of information that I've been putting into myself for God knows how long, and like to have my own ideologies that work with my clients and like the way I break things down, the herbs I use and how I do it. Like to have that in my hands, dude. Oh my God. Y'all, let's go. Like this is, oh, boy, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the hell I've been through the past seven years of my life. Y'all don't know, ball. Y'all don't, y'all ain't seen the ups and downs in college. Y'all ain't seen the ups and downs of my body. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't seen the doors being closed in front of my face. And now to see, I'm out here, Coach Ryan, get your fine healing and moving and doing what I do, how I do it when I do it. This is amazing. This is amazing, y'all. All 80 pages of my book. Okay, I, we got to get back on topic, but yo, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna Facetime my mama as soon as I get off of this thing. This is crazy. Thank you, God. Thank you. When nobody believed in me, you believed in me, and you gave me grace and favor. And whatever you done to me, whatever blessing you give me private, privately and publicly, I'm gonna always give you glory. Thank you so much. Oh, that feels that feels so good, y'all. Y'all have no idea how good that that feels. And you know what's crazy? I haven't even been promoting it yet. I just wanted to do a cold release first, and then I was gonna start promoting it this week. And I've already sold ten copies. That may not be big to y'all, but that's big to me because my protocol did numbers. Like I didn't, I all, all the protocols that I put out and this, that, and the third. I didn't have three point three million views on this, that, and the third. Blah blah. Yeah, that's cool and that's dandy. But like to say that I didn't promote that. And I want to see who was going to like look on and see what's what. Because I kind of mentioned it on my lives and stuff like that. But I want to see who like how it was really going to move by itself. I made like maybe one post about it. I want to say. But I didn't really. Y'all know me. I didn't promote it. Promote it like I normally do. And people believe in me, bro. I got my first book, man. That's crazy. But manifestation. Manifestation. But we're going. Man, that's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. I got to. I'm FaceTime my mom as soon as we get off this joint. But, um. I didn't lost my train of thought. I'm st I keep looking at that doggone book where holistic meets you. I'm that nigga. Oh, Lord. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. All right. But getting back on, getting back on task. If y'all, okay. I just got to expound on this for the past seven years. For y'all that don't, for y'all that truly don't know me for the past seven years, I have watched so many people die around me. I have seen so many people lose life lose to lose to these chronic illness ba uh, battles i lost my grandmother recently so i'm not even gonna dive into that don't feel like talking about that but i didn't i lost my grandmother recently you know and i and and i couldn't get to her on time you know because like a lot of things they didn't really tell us about and you know you just go through life and and people have already have made their decisions you know and, and we've had our own talks about how she felt about certain things you know so that that's that is what it is but like you know i've, I've lost a lot of people that's close to me do the stuff like that and i've i've been through so much y'all like y'all just don't know the hours the months the weeks the years that i stayed locked up in a room reading going clinical trial after clinical trial book after book article after article podcast after podcast you know then i started doing my own thing because i started going through stuff in my body around 2014 and all the stuff I've been studying, okay, now it's time to put it to practice, you know, and healing myself, healing others. And then up until this point, the clients, the hundreds of clients that I that I have, you know, I'm not to the thousands yet. Cause we I mean, it's just a six, seven month thing rolling as far as like how long I've been on here trying to do that. I've been doing everything else off the grid for a while. But like I'm talking about like actually going walking into my whole like my holistic healing client. Thank you so much for the roles. God bless. But to like my actual like healing properties, I've been doing this for going on six, seven months, and like the hundreds of people I've healed. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is big to me because, like, people don't see the work that you put in. People don't see what you have to go through to truly. Because my thing is, I'll, and, I, and I thank God for it. But, like, one of my biggest thing is I understand that people trust me with their health, which is essentially, if not parallel, or equivalent to them trusting me with their lives. I don't have time to be out here spitting BS. I don't have time to be out here trying to just do cash grabs. I don't have time to be out here doing all of this false information and spreading these. There's enough false narratives going on right now. When people book consultations with me or when people seek out my help, I can't. I don't. You know how it's just wrong because there's people I'm not going to I'm not here to bash nobody, but there's people out here that I know that don't know what they're talking about. And they're making a bunch of money off of people making 10 times the money I'm making. Cause I'm barely making anything on here, but like making 10 times the money I'm making, just Googling some stuff, you know, and like, and, 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 and just out here 
giving people stuff that don't really work and very general responses. And people like me dive in and actually heal and actually move things around. I don't have because that blood is on my hands. Say if somebody was to come to me with something that I know for sure I can't heal or I'm not versed in. Or if it's something that I know I really shouldn't be doing because I'm not I don't have the information for it. If that person was to pass or if that person's uh, symptoms or, or illnesses is to worsen, that's blood on my hands. I have to answer to that in this life and the next. You know, I don't take this stuff for granted, y'all. That's why y'all see me going crazy behind this because this was seven years in the making it granted it took me like a week to design it and put all the information in here and it was really just to see like what i you know how i'm gonna move but you're looking at the result of seven years of pain seven years of, of knowledge seven years of like just going through the system and figuring it out you know because i've i've failed as much as i've succeed you can't you can't succeed without failing you gotta go man look i don't i didn't always have the answers but I read book after book after book after book after book. Y'all can't even see it. There's a plethora of books down here. There's a whole nother bookshelf over there. There's a my bottom bookshelf. There's books in my other room. There's books in the living room. The books I have on my hard drive right there. I have like, what's going on, Char? I have, I have like terabytes of information. You know, and it's like, I don't play with people's lives, y'all. And that also ties back to the manifestation. This, I'm, I'm a walk, I am literally living in the very thing that I wrote down. At the at the end of last year, I want to say slash beginning of this year, it's crazy. What's going on? What's going on, my love? What's up, colors? Like it's crazy how these things and these blessings keep falling. Like I was having a talk, and I'm about to I'm gonna post that. I should be done editing that video today, y'all. And it's only going to be on my YouTube. One of my friends is a therapist, and we had a talk about like deserving, like having a having a, a sense, especially as Black people, us oftentimes walking into our blessings and our destiny and our callings and feeling like we don't deserve it sometimes because we don't come from that background and it can it, it's, i'm not even going i'm not y'all gonna see whenever whenever i put it up but essentially what i'm saying is like to to be a living breathing testament uh and, not, and i'm not even trying to get because y'all know me i'm not a religious person but i do believe in god and but to to be a walking manifestation of the prayers that i prayed the things that i wrote down the prayers that my family prayed over me you know the things that i had to suffer through to get through here to get now to where i'm at like y'all just don't understand how big this is for me like the fact that there's like 14 15 of y'all up in here right now that's big to me even if there was there was a point i remember when i first started doing this there was like one two people and the other day we had a hundred and something. I don't let them numbers move me because I'm walking in my calling. I'm walking in my manifestation. This is just step one. If y'all only knew what has been happening within my life, like fully uncensored, because I can only say so much on TikTok before they flag me. But like the past six, seven months of my life has been a movie. But what people don't see is since 2013, all the hell I was going through to get to these six months, to get through the blessings that's been coming my way, to get to the point of being finally being comfortable in my health. I could drink water and feel like I'm about to throw up. That's how bad my stomach was. I could eat, I could eat anything. And like, I would be like incapacitated. Like it would be bad, you know? And it's, and it's like, I've gotten, and even, and I, and I love the fact, that's how I knew I was walking in my calling. I had a client. She, I thought I was bad. She would only use the bathroom. I'm talking about defecation twice a week super massively bloated like chronic illness her periods was bad she had the early signs of a uh, pcos development man i ran it through my system showed her the stuff that i did for myself educated it. that's one thing about me you get a consultation with me or you you choose to walk with me i'm not just gonna give you a solution baby you're gonna do some learning because i'm one of those type of people where it's like if you come back to me that's fine a returning customer is is fine but at the same time i love i love giving people something they can spread to their families you don't i don't want you to come back to me I want you to take this information and I want you to spread it. I want you to start studying for yourself. I want you to show yourself approved so you can make a change in other people's lives. I'm just sowing seeds. And however God sees fit to bless me for sowing that seed, I receive it. Because ain't nobody my source but God. But at the same time, y'all, look, I'm I'm going to just talk. Because I know we had a topic, but I'm just going to flow. But I say all that to say... Y'all, y'all gotta walk in y'all manifestation and y'all destiny. Whatever you didn't wrote down, whatever you didn't prayed for, whatever you're trying to focus on, whatever you're trying to do in life, you have to stay focused and believe in it. The moment you put true intentions, the moment you put true manifestation, the moment you put everything you're supposed to do in a line with yourself, with your mind, body, spirit, soul, whatever order you want to put it in, it has to come into subjection of your reality. I don't care what nobody say. There's, I'm telling y'all, if y'all knew me in real life, because I, and that's also, I don't like, you know, 
But if y'all knew me in real life and y'all was to know what I've been through, I'm talking about literal doors being I, I see I see you with the uh, clogged ears. I'm gonna get to you for a second. I just feel led to say this. Um, but if if y'all know me and y'all, especially when I got to college in 2013, the doors that were closed into my face, the stuff, the 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 discrimination that I had to go through because professors were intimidated by me because professors didn't believe in me because I was different and I wasn't doing it their way. And is that in the third that 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 illegally and wrongfully flunked me out of some of my seminars and cost me almost four years of a degree like y'all don't like people don't know the full story that got me to where I'm at now. But people also, but I like to brag about my testimony and where I'm at now, because even in all of that, I've surpassed everything they thought I wasn't going to do and some. And most of those people don't even have a job to work in right now, because when you lead and you sow seeds of evilness like that, manifest manifestation work both, both ways, whatever you sow, you're going to reap it. Whether it be the press down, shaking together, rolling, uh, uh, running over or tenfold over, it has to come back to you. Whether you want to call it sowing and reaping, whether you want to call it, uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, karma what do you want to call it uh uh give and take the universe whatever you want to call it it has to life does this life goes in a big circle now how fast that circle is going or if you fly off the circle and come back or whatever you're going to forever be going through something and there's going to forever be a rotation of something that you got to go through learn whatever and you have to so you have to reap what you sow why are all the, the the evil people doing good and that blah 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 y'all don't see what's going on behind closed doors Y'all don't see them people struggling. Y'all don't see the people health problems. People know how to put on faces and facades these days. This is because they like to be on social media or they're being portrayed this way. Doesn't mean that's actually how them people are. Don't let that stuff get to you like that. Walk in your truth. Walk in who you are. Walk in what you know how to do and manifest what you're destined and born to do. I, bro, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all got to do it. Y'all got to do it because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you feel me? At the end of the day, like, come stop playing, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. But to answer your question, clogged ears. Um, this is actually a trick my my uh my, my grandfather showed me. So you can get your two cloves of garlic and you can put it uh you can put it in your ear and let it sit overnight and put some potatoes in your sock in your socks when you sleep and let it uh sit overnight. Well, as you sleep overnight and it's gonna pull nine times out of ten, it depends on how your ears got clogged. Like if you have an obstruction, then you have to get that removed. You have to go to somebody that can actually get it out without causing damage. But if it's like inflammation or if it's like a like a sound thing, like say you was exposed to a certain type of sound and like it, it messed with your ears, because I do audio engineering, like certain decibels mess with your ears. Like I, there's like there's ear breaks that I make me and my clients do sometimes because like you you're mixing and doing things at certain frequencies for so long, it will literally like start taking off. I think it's like the the twelve thousand uh the 12k hertz of your ears it starts to diminish like negative 32 decibels once you get to your 40s 50s 60s you know so is it 12k i think it's 20 it's somewhere it's somewhere in that range but uh but you can hear it but i would say um make sure that you get some garlic you know and like and not the garlic all is amazing and very easy that you can do that too but the safer way if you don't really know what you're doing get you some garlic cloves um cut the ends so like the the um it, the i forgot what it's called the chemical that comes out of it so it can actually go inside and like put that in your ear well not in your ear but like you know clog your ears with it or well, that ear since it's one ear and let it take its course and then also make sure that you're flushing your body with fruit juices make sure that you're in quiet spaces giving your body a chance to rest giving your body a chance to come to subjection to what you're trying to do but i feel like that's that would be a great uh a great a great way for you to deal with that but if it's anything like i said obstruction wise or if, if even if that doesn't work and like you start to develop this ringing and stuff like that make sure go get like a i forgot what the term is but like make sure you go get you go book an appointment to make sure there's not an obstruction in your ear you know because like when i was back in college y'all y'all what does the angel number 333 mean but when i was back in college um when i was doing i was on the drum line so like during especially indoor rehearsals whenever we couldn't be outside i would have earplugs in because when i would be exposed to that level of, of of decibels for too long for the rest of the day there was a constant ringing there was a constant ringing and then my ears would be dull and i'd be like huh huh because i can't hear nothing you know and your ears gotta rest and you know you gotta let all that stuff happen but overall i would say that would be step one to like get to kind of help with your ear being like it's like that and like make sure you ain't got no water in there too i know it's summertime y'all may be swimming you never told me what the what the problem is so i'm just assuming but um what would the what cause you to get there but like 
you, you know, we sometimes swimming, all that type of stuff. You may think you get all that water out of there sometimes, but it'd be sitting in like the inner parts of your canal and stuff like that. So well, che- where's Chelsea? Chelsea is living her best life. Chelsea is, um, Chelsea is, is, uh, doing something different. She's went down a, another path. Um, she's, she's got promoted, you know, she's doing well in life. I wish her the best. I pray the best for her. Um, sending love to her because she's forever loved. And, um, you know, we just we just parted ways on some on some business stuff, but it's not you know it's no malicious, it's no animosity. Like y'all, I really wish that y'all wish her the best, and I really hope and pray that y'all are really sowing good seeds to her, you know, and like praying for the best for her because she deserves that at the end of the day. But yeah, yeah, Chelsea's uh, Chelsea's on an, on another team right now. Um, three three three, your angel is beside you to provide strength and ability to live stress free, and I receive it. And I receive because like I'm not big on angel numbers. I'm really not big on angel numbers, but um, they've been popping up like frequently. They've been they've been popping up. So like, I just been googling them here and there to see what they mean. And the biggest ones I've been getting is like I've been uh apparently I'm being guided because I'm I'm being uh promoted and ascended to another level of uh, spirituality and wisdom. Another one was uh financial freedom, and another one was. Uh, I think the one that you said talking about guidance with being protected by angels and stuff like that. So I receive all of that because look, what God got for me, nobody could take from me. But um, let's see. Let me go back to. I believe it's inflammation. Okay, yeah, then try the garlic trick. What about fibroids? So when it comes down to fibroids, I oftentimes tell people you need to fast. Go on an all juice fast, fruit juice fast. I was looking up nine 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 when you ex when you ex. That was the that was one of the numbers I saw too. Uh, we we here. I believe in divine timing. We here. We're supposed to be here. But um, when it comes down to fibroids and things of that nature, one, you can go check out my book. I definitely have stuff for PCOS in my book. But um, when it comes down to fibroids, I always tell people go on like a 15 to 30 day fast, depending on what you could tolerate, of fruit juices. Like do fruit juices and you want to make sure that you're giving your body a chance to flush because fi- fibroids are just accumulations of cellular waste that have yet to be passed or it's welded or sometimes it gets binded to the endometrium lining. So it's like, you got to give your body something, especially stuff with a string, like a lot of grape juice, stuff that has astringency in it. That's going to go in on a cellular level and brush through and get it out and kick it out your system to where you can pass it, you know? So, but if you have actual PCOS and stuff like that, I have protocols and stuff for that. And I, you know what? Now, Ooh, let's go to the PCOS section of my book. <laughs> let's, let's look, let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's let's do that. Peace is one of the last things that I talked about in this book. Y'all, I got a book. <laughs> I got a book. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Cause I I did like a whole like four part series on um on PCOS on, and all that type of stuff on my on my TikTok. You go check that out. But let's let's talk about it. Cause I mean, fire bros and PCOS is one and the same. So the complex illness known as polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS is characterized by high levels of androgen, irregular menstruation cycles, and are tiny cysts on one or both ovaries. But let's dissect that a little bit more, shall we? So number one, poly signifies numerous. Two, cysts are tissue sac like closed off compartments. They are typically a collection of cells that contain unutilized hormones, minerals, and cellular debris. Three, ovarian is where the issue is located. Four, the actual organ or specific tissues are compromised, which is referred to as the syndrome. So what exactly are androgens? So now I'm not even going to dive into androgens because that's a whole other thing. But I will say this. Everything I just said about PCOS, I'm trying to get to the other part about uh, the herbs and stuff like that. But um, when it comes down, like I said, well, when it comes down to fibroids, we have to utilize, we have to understand that fibroids are just another form of cysts. That's all they are. It's un, it's unutilized material. It's unutilized cellular waste that has yet to be um that has yet to be uh, moved around our past. So we have to find out the different ways, or we have to utilize the ways that's placed on this earth for us to flourish through. That's why I said you need to fast. Give your body a chance to get all of that gunk out of your system. Typically, even even people that are vegans, like they, you can still see a, a sick vegan because they don't flush. They don't they don't eat the herbs and the things that they're going to need to push themselves forward. You know, unless you're on a majority. I always tell people a majority fruit, even you don't have to be all fruit diet, but a majority fruit diet will push you to a whole nother level. But the three herbs that I talk about in my book are black cohosh, uh, reishi and cat's claw. Now, when it comes down to these three herbs, they're really good for fibroids and things of that nature, because you're going to get to a place of hormonal balance. You're going to get to a place of uh, cellular balance. You're going to get to cardiovascular balance. And then on top of that, the fruit juices that you're going to be drinking with that is going to flush while the herbs re-electrolyze the body, while the fruits also replenish you and revitalize the nutrients that you're not getting. You know, because the oftentimes our body, 
I oftentimes tell people that what you're going through and what's and like what's coming out of you or what's happening to you is a reaction of the body trying to save itself. Autoimmune systems, in my opinion, autoimmune uh, autoimmune uh, disease and stuff like that is just the body trying to fix itself the best way it knows how. You know, so it's like you have these crazy symptoms that happen but when you look at like let's take like uh lupus and stuff like that for example the body is going to start drawing and pulling minerals throughout other places throughout the body because it's not getting it here it's not getting it here it's not getting it here so i have to make do with what i have which causes the lack of minerals the lack of substance the lack of this that and the third so now b what's up b b i was supposed to i'm a uh i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to you later on today because look what came in the mail Look what came in the mail, B. Look what came in the mail. Oh my God! If y'all don't know, please go follow uh uh my 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 friend Blessing. Blessing is one of the few women in my life that I will cherish to the day that I die. When I got here on TikTok, she was one of if three people that actually gave me unbiased truth that had that has actually um to like taught me the ways of social media and stuff like that. And she's always there when I call her and vice versa. We always have the best conversations. It's very straightforward and she don't sugarcoat nothing. And she lets me know when I'm wrong. I let her know if she went, which is rare. Uh, and honestly, I don't think it really happened like that. I let her know if she out of line. That's just the boundaries that we have. But overall, she has been nothing but a blessing to my life. She has been constructive. She's always there when I need her. And she has amazing content. Her product line is crazy. I have some of her stuff, her products for me and Amber, well, for Amber and I. And um, and y'all just go support her. Shower her with love. Hit that follow button. She's in here. It's becoming blessing. B. Y'all go click that. That's my my beautiful friend. Y'all B. Shout out to you. I love you, girl, for real. But um, she made, that made me forget what I was saying. That's my dogs. And like when when B pop around, I, I get I get hype. Um, what I was about to say. We talking about cysts. We talking. We talking about androgens, and we talked about herbs. We talk about minerals in the body pulling autoimmune systems. Yeah. So essentially, like whenever you start eating, I mean, you start drinking a lot of fruit, and even if you want to eat fruits while you're doing the fruit juice as well, and cold press. Don't do that concentrated or pasteurized stuff because it changes the chemistry of it. It's not the same. Get cold press juice. But um, it's gonna flush all of that stuff up out of you, and it's gonna is oftentimes gonna get you the way you need to be because when the body starts pulling from other places in the body, that's because you're not supplying it with the things that it needs. Like overeating does not mean that you're getting the nutrients. You eating the right things and are fasting is sometimes what you need to do to get those things uh, out of your body. You know, we have alpha and beta receptors in our bodies for a reason. We have neurological receptors in our body for a reason. We have a lymphatic response and nodules for a reason. You know, so you, you people just don't understand the body. People just don't take the time to study anatomy. They don't take the time to study biology. You know, it's like you have to understand how the body is functioning to understand why these diseases are happening. Once again, I don't have all the answers, but I know what I've helped people with and I know what helps me and what I understand. You know, so once again, take the time to flush and hydrate and revitalize the body before we panic, you know, and before we resort to the craziness. But I feel like that would be really good for you and your fibroids. Um, wait a minute. You have a book. Sorry. I've been going for a minute. Yeah, bro. Let me tell you something. Char is, I don't know how much of the live you caught, but I was, I almost cried. Like my book is here. <sighs> it's, it's a lot. It's, I just said, it's a lot. A lot of good things have been happening. I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored. God is taking care of me. Uh, I found out yesterday that I have them. I think I might have passed a few based off the pain. Yeah. It'd be like, it'd be like that. I have, I had a client. She, <laughs> and she already grossed out about a lot of stuff and uh this is her one of her i ain't gonna put too much of her business out there but she passed some too and she sent me some pictures and like i'm talking about it, it was it was crazy it was crazy but it was i was so proud because like she did it you know like she was disciplined she stuck through everything i told her to do she stayed with it you know even whenever she went through her because you're going to get some detox symptoms you're going to get it all of that gunk that's been sitting there that hasn't been moved it has to be reprocessed a lot of the lymphatic system dumps within, within the digestive system better known as the gut so you're gonna it's gonna have to reprocess it so she went through like a day or two of like her detox symptoms but then when she had a movement movement right after she got off her period it was crazy it was crazy but like skin cleared up hair started growing back how it needs to be her uh her edges are are back like she just a whole nother vibrant being like she was pale 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 now she got her brown complexion back like hey man god is real <laughs> god bless uh many eat lots of junk food definitely spearmint is great too for what are we talking about um, I have a friend with lupus. She's doing well with fighting it. That's what I'm talking about. Send them my way if need be. Hold up. Let me. My bad, y'all. I gotta. I'm trying to get back to these. Uh, I'm trying to get back to these these comments. She says, "Stop it. We love Coach Brian, and we love some B. We love blessing. 
Blessing, I can't wait to, I can't wait to, I'm gonna FaceTime my mama first. I gotta, you know, I gotta show love to my mama. I'm gonna FaceTime my mama first. Me and her might cry on the phone. And then I'm gonna FaceTime you because I do have rehearsal at 6 30. Um, I have access to a juicer. Perfect. I definitely need to fast. Yeah, do that. Get your body, get your body where it needs to be. Y'all like the live so more people can get the information for sure. And I, and I told him that earlier, but shout out for, see, be a real, that's a real friend, bro. That's a real friend. Come on, moderator. Coach bro, what's that? What's that? What's happening? Diamond, what's happening, Miss Diamond? How long does it take Slippery M to work on the body? It depends. So it's like you have some people that are relatively clean and open, so it it hits them the same day. It hits them thirty minutes later, or I might hit them a few hours later. But then you got some people that it takes like a few months, few weeks. It depends. But I give my clients typically a week or two. I say about it, do it like a week or two on it because you have to let your body. Your body has to adjust. You know, like some people come to it for vaginal. Uh, and honestly, y'all can hit B up for this because B specializes in uh. And women's health, by the way. But from based off of what I know, as far as like how I study herbs and stuff like that, and what I've seen with my clients, you know, it's like they'll have a week they have to adjust on it, their body goes through it, and then they start reaping the true benefits of it because the herb is going to go in there and it's going to do its job, but it can't be, pro it can't be, what's prominent, prominent, prevalent? It can't be, pro it can't prominently do its job until it gets all oh, some other stuff out of the way. So you got to couple that with good eating as well. But I say about a week, give it a week. Okay, I need to buy your book now. Please do. Please do. CoachBrian.com. Yes. Or just click the link in my bio. You click the beacon thing. My book link is right there. Go straight to it. Bye, y'all. Tap the screen, guys. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for the love. Man, y'all. Child, look. It's good to be back. I'm just going to say that. It's good to be back. And I'm loving this energy. And I'm loving. Oh, my God. I love y'all. What do you suggest for ADHD? My grandson. If y'all see me with my hand like this, it's because the, the letters. I can't. Like, it's just it's not it's not giving clarity what do you suggest for adhd my grandson is on medication i'm having to increase it again okay so mm, i almost said something that nope we're not gonna say that what i will say is especially with with boys lots of berries blueberries for sure lots of natural berries get the adhd is probably coming from the concentrated sugars the juices the the fruit juices that got all the gunk in it, the natural flavors and stuff like that it's coming from the fast food it's coming from wherever else he probably on so you need to make sure one that child is exercised because ch children with adhd their brains are just functioning because i used to have adhd our brains are just functioning on a faster frequency than most children our age like my mom and them hate still to this day they hate me for it but like i am a, an amazing multitasker i can literally be like writing something typing something in at work and have a full-blown conversation with somebody else like you're not listening and tell you everything you just said to me so it's like find his passion find what he likes to do make him focus on those type of things suffocate him with fruits i'm talking about like tear him down with fruits because that's gonna give his neuron his neurons and things like that to expect but if you really want to calm him down calm him down cherries like cherry especially in cherry juice like natural it's gonna like it has natural melatonin and he's gonna be like like his brain's gonna fart out but um yeah, make sure you exercise. Make sure he's mentally stimulated. Um, make sure he shower with love. Make sure you're having intellectual conversations with him. Uh, don't just keep him in front of the TV because them TVs be tearing children's brains up these days. And um, just really uh, like give him a lot of berries, especially with boys, young growing boys. Berries are the way to go. And um, let's see what else. That's a good starting point. It's more so not talking, it's all my ADHD clients. Their children they just have poor diets. You know, I don't know what he eats, but it's like. Nine times out of ten is the diet. And you and you might even think, well, he just has one juicy juice or one Jolly Rancher a day. His system might be like mine. It's like the moment some stuff like that come in there, it's it it it, it just gets on it. And it just we're gonna electrocute the whole body. Like that's just and plus I'm I'm left-handed. So it's like I already my neurons are actually like the opposite of most people. So it's like you just gotta you just gotta like work with what you got. You know what I'm saying? It's like he ADHD right now, but it's like once he once y'all rewire him and like refeed him and stuff like that and like, you know, get him the way he needs to be. He probably going to be a whole nother child, you know, because like it's kind of like training. You have to find what actually wears out that person like somebody like me. You can't just give me a book or as a ch even as a child, you couldn't put a book in front of me and think that's going to make me bored, tired and sleepy. I'm, I will be up until I finish with that book. I love reading. I love knowledge. I love understanding. And punishment for me are like having to calm me down was my mom was saying, hey, can you come in the living room and watch TV with us? Because I'll be still to this day is like I don't like being in front of a TV. It's like it's boring. It's programming. I feel like I'm being turned into something else, you know, and like I'll be on the sofa like this, like like just not I'm just not with it, you know, so it's like just get get him surrounded by what he likes to do. 
enrich him like especially if he in between ages of one and seven enrich the hell out of him because like that brain is needing that especially as black children we fire off different you know like we have way more uh prokaryotic cells than eukaryotic cells inside of our body so like we want to create we want to learn we want to ah we want to do it you know especially if he's passionate so play to his passions and then watch what happens i'm seeing so many hearts thank y'all for the love I have irritable bowel syndrome and it has gotten worse. Never really hungry and tired. <laughs> Guess what I talk about in my book? Ah, let's go to it. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. Whoo. Ah, I love it. 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 Y'all got me book. Y'all got me hype up in here. Okay, so let's talk about irritable bowel syndrome. So, according to Coach Brian and his perspective, on irritable bowel syndrome so this the true cause is low levels of bile and hydrochloric acid production which makes the digestive system more conducive to the growth of bacteria such strains from the more uh the more than 50 families of streptococcus so that's the, so essentially what i'm saying is like and i, I can go a little bit i can go a little bit more to i want you to buy the book uh, but essentially it's like so your stomach your stomach is just highly inflamed if you take all the scientific words and stuff out of your stomach is highly inflamed. Your stomach is going through a phase to where it's like either I'm over or under producing hydrochloric acid and the things that I'm eating, um, I can't process it or it takes a whole amount of energy for me to process it. So my adrenal glands have to click, kick in. So my cortisol levels are high. So my kidneys are over functioning. So my pancreas and my liver are over secreting di digestive uh, salts and enzymes and bile. So now my whole body, is, well, my, my digestive system is inflamed and it takes more energy to sedate my body than to function and actually eat food. Eating food becomes a chore rather than a, a, a nutritious part of the day and a happy part of the day. So what I would say is make sure, once again, Make sure that you're um, drinking a lot of fruit juice, eating a lot of fruits and getting the herbs that I talk about in my book. You feel me? Or if you don't feel like getting a book, just get some slippery elm. Take you about two inches of uh, aloe vera, the actual plant. Cut it open, skin it and eat that um, every morning. And you'll, you'll see you'll see a big, big difference. Um, and the reason why you're tired too, you say you're uh, never hungry and tired. Your body's inflamed, but also when your adrenal glands and your uh, cortisol levels are just overproducing, overproducing, you don't have energy to spare. Even even your gallbladder, like it stores up to eight, um, it stores up to eight hours, six to eight hours of energy, reserve energy for you. It's burnt out. It has nothing left. It's it's not. It can't give nothing else. It, I'm all out of wires, boss. Like your body is done, you know. So it's like you just gotta revitalize. So it's, it's okay to eat the fruits. It's okay to drink the fruit juice. Revitalize your system and give yourself a break and self care. Make sure y'all giving some self care to yourself. Let's see. Let's see. My bad, y'all. The comment section for me. I don't know how it works for y'all. The moment I touch the comments, even though I'm not at the bottom, it flies all the way back up to where I, like the new ones, and I'm trying to get back to the other stuff. Um, let me go back up. Let me go back up. Let me go back up. No idea. What do you suggest for? Whoa, I can't even see that. Perusicillum. Hold up. We got to Hold up. I got these new names with all this stuff. And it really be the same stuff. Because you didn't show me a term that I got to look up. But it's probably going to be. It's typically. Let me see. What, I feel like it's going to think. It's going to be what I think it is. Excessive body hair on parts of the body where hair is normally absent. Yep. That's exactly what I thought it was. So, all right, when it comes down to stuff like that, that goes back to what I was saying before about androgen. So that's hormonal imbalances. Anytime you start having hair in places that there really shouldn't be growing or overproduction of hair, especially if on a female body, is because your androgen levels and your hormonal levels are imbalanced. So the herbs I talked about earlier, like uh, black cohosh and things of that nature, get you some red maca root, um, a higher fruit diet, you know, pulling out. And that's another thing, too. You're probably consuming too many hormones. So make sure that you're not eating uh you know like the too many heavy meats and stuff like that because a lot of that stuff these days is highly processed and have a lot of hormones and stuff in it like the average chicken size now as opposed to what it is before is like a 20 pound difference you know it's like and that's real big for chickens you know so make sure that you're consuming things that don't have a lot of chemicals and hormones in it and giving your body a fast giving your body a flush giving your body herbs that's going to deal with you and get that stuff up out your system so you can do my act and if you don't want to get my book i have a 10-day detox protocol now that's a digital well all this stuff on this digital product so don't expect nothing physical but it's a protocol that you can use day by day minute by minute like it's going to get you the way you need to be but um you're going to have a, a digital protocol i just got an idea my bad that's why i paused i just had a great idea just in my head i can't wait to do that too but you can get my 10-day uh detox you go in there and then like follow it through and it should it should be a great first step for you i love your hair love from peru shout out to peru i don't think i've i don't think i've had anybody from peru on here before shout out to you much love and thank you for being here hit that follow button look i got mine his book is the truth definitely added to your collection you dig you feel me i got a book like i'm so proud of this thing bro 
Can't wait to call my mama. Definitely about to purchase the book. I need it. I'm saying it's true. Everybody needs it. Because we're trying to win in 2022. Oh, y'all. I got to use the bathroom. Yes, and the dyes just adds to it, too. For sure, for sure. He loves to read. He's seven and reading at sixth grade level. He's left-handed, too. My guy. See? 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 And, and I was the same. I was the same way. And look at, like, we're just high-functioning creatures. Especially if he left-handed. Nah, I know I could rock with little buddy. Like, he, he just a high-functioning little dude. So you just got to keep him occupied with what he like. But like, let him burn out on his passions. Like when I first got into science, because that's, that's the two things that I always did from a child. Science with like reading and understanding like science and music. Like that's all I've ever done my entire life. And yeah, I did sports and stuff like that. But like, I love learning and I love producing things. And when my parents let me build, I remember I was like, I got my first studio equipment, well, musical instrument. My mom got me my first guitar no, my, my dad gave me his piano. I was in the eighth grade. I was in the seventh, eighth grade. And I was already kind of playing on it before because he was, he sure wasn't using it. He didn't know how to play piano. He just, my uncle, my great uncle that passed, got rested, so gave it to him. And he just never did nothing with it. And I was in there, clank, 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 like, trying, like figuring it out. And um, he gave it to me. And that was like my first instrument. But like all of my uncles on my mama's side, drums, like they did, they played drums. So I automatically knew how to read music, well, uh, read percussive music. And um uh and play drums and stuff like that from a very very young age. And then I just started like instrument after like I could show y'all. I have I have a uh, that's all my guitars. That's my where's my upright at? That's my baby. That's my upright over there. That's some of my amps. This is my piano. Uh, that's my other reserve back there. And I have my whole booth and all that stuff in there. Mics like that's what I do, man. It's what I do. It's what I do. And um. Yeah, just let him burn out on his passions. Let him let like like submerge him in the things that he's good at and that keeps him occupied and let him express himself. Always create a safe space, even if it's loud, because I was a very and I'm still a loud child. Well, I'm, I'm 27, but I've, all, I've always been a loud child. It's like there's nothing quiet about me because like I'm expressive. I like music. I like noise. You know, I like creating. I like reading. Like the only time I'm quiet is if I'm learning something. Like when my little nieces and nephews come here, we babysitting and we got on Gracie's Corner. Are we up in here making music? Like it's loud, but they burnt out by the end of the day because I'm going to I'm going to enrich. I'm going to invest in you. I'm going to give you as much nurturing as possible. So let them have a safe space to be loud, to be sometimes destructive, to be expressive, you know, because they're children. They're like they're feeling for the first time. They're reading and comprehending for the first time. They're breathing for the first time. You know, like we're in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Like we didn't <laughs> we live in life. You know, we all oh, that ain't nothing new. We just reading. But to them, it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So like that adrenaline is fresh. Their body's just experiencing certain types of adrenaline and dopamine responses. So it's like submerge him in that and he's gonna thank you for that later down the road because five six seven years from now whenever he's light years ahead of his classmates and all whoever's whatever they're doing in their field he's light years ahead but you allowed him to be passionate about it you know so the doctors like to say adhd and they can't pay attention to blah 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 kids just don't have structure they don't have a proper diet and they're not being stimulated in the because like for me my memory is so photo photographic sometimes like I would show up to especially in high school is like my mom and them because my mom is a teacher. So like you already know how that is growing up with a teacher. Jesus Christ. But <laughs> love your mama because I know she'd be watching. Love your mama. But um, <laughs> but like it got to the point in high school to where it's like I would just listen and understand and I would be passing. So I would get bored in class. So, yeah, of course, I'll be joking with some of my best friends. I'll be in class with. We'll be joking. We'll be causing noise sometimes. Not to be rude, but I'm bored. I'm already in these four concrete walls with no window. And you know, the teacher is talking about the Pythagorean theorem and how A squared. Put, like, I'm bored. You know, so and especially if I already understand it. So he probably just light years ahead. You know, like for somebody his age, he probably just on a whole nother level. So it's like. That's what happens whenever they're gifted and they're not being challenged. Like the real work for me, like that made me actually go home and study when I got to, cause I didn't, I really didn't do much studying. And I was, I, I graduated like with a three, like almost a 4.0. It's like, I, I was smart. I'm smart. But like my downfall was that I was, I was lazy in the class that I understood. I just didn't do my homework, but like all the way from my freshman year up until my senior year, 
I didn't start actually having to try in school until my senior year when I got to physics. Like I got into biology too. I had the choice to like do none of those classes because I already did all my credits and all that type of stuff. I could have been a half day student, but my mom was like, no. <laughs> so I did in one semester, I did, uh, advanced, I did, cal no, I did advanced math. I did, uh, geometry. No, I did advanced math. I did physics. I did biology too. And I forgot what's the other science I took. And like that was the only year I was like, oh, I got to actually go home and study and try these practices and these theoretical blah, 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 blah. But other than that, I'm just sitting there like in class, bored, sleeping in class or like I'm just blurring out with my friends because we're not challenged. So just make sure he's challenged. I still like to say make sure he's challenged. Wow. This is me. I'm crying right now. Thank you. Welcome. Nothing but love. What is your diabetic and God dog it. Hold on. I got to scroll back up. See the comments be flying up. The comments be flying up. What if you're diabetic and they told you not to eat many fruits? So it's not that you can't eat fruits. You have to eat fruits on a low glycemic index. So because how is it that fruit? It makes no sense when they say that because and what they're not telling y'all is that fruits bypass the pancreas. Pancreas is where the insulin response happens. So the sugar can be processed properly for the body to utilize it. Right. We have monosaccharides and polysaccharides. You should be eating monosaccharides and stay away from poly and poly and disaccharides. Right. But the thing about fruits, especially fruits on the low glycemic index, it bypasses the pancreas because diabetes typically happens in the pancreas. You know, so it's like when it bypasses and goes straight to the blood, you're not revitalized. Yeah, you might have a spike for like a day, but like your body's adjusting, you know, and then once you flush out all the other things that's causing your pancreas to basically shoot acid on itself and overwork and you like and you're getting off all of these these hard meats that's on your body, you know, it's like it just is what it is at that point, you know, so. You just got to make sure that you're consuming cold pressed actual fruits and not and not they be having high fructose corn syrup and juicy juice and pasteurize this. And like just I always tell people the front. I don't have nothing up in here that's food, but the front is for education. I mean, the front is for entertainment. The back is for education. Flip what y'all getting over. If it has stuff you can't pronounce, don't get it. If it has natural flavors, don't get it. If it's if it's if it's um. If it's apple juice, but it has apple concentrate or natural, it is that third and citric acid. Why are you consuming that? Your, your body can't process that. You know, so if it's apple juice, the ingredients should say organic apples. And that's it, because that's what apple juice is. You know, so just give your body a chance. Joy, what's up? Joy, I didn't know you was up in here. Joy said, I'm so pretty. Let me tell you something. Joy is one of the best photographers in Southern Louisiana. Like it doesn't get too much better than her down here. I'm just going to keep it a buck with y'all. So if y'all haven't go check out Joy's page, go hit that follow button and book with her. It's, it's worth the trip. Like Joy does amazing, especially like maternity shoots. We have a mutual friend named Lo. Joy, by the way, if you still up in here, that was probably one of my favorite maternity shoes. Cause you know, I love her children too, but you know, that's one of my favorite maternity shoes that you've ever done. Like you and Lo got something y'all need to yeah, keep doing that. Uh, have you heard that com consumption of too much fruit is harmful because it's no longer as nutrition nutritious? I haven't heard that because I there is people on and I and that's another thing about me. I'm not biased. I don't pick a side. I'm not I'm not one of those people that's animal protein versus this blah blah. I don't do that. I do I do what, what helps people. But um, there's people who are actual fruitarians and they have some of the best like health statuses and all that type of stuff so it's hard for me to agree with that when i've done a plethora of and i even planned on being a fruitarian at one point i'm not doing that no more but i had a plan on doing that at one point in time so it's like i don't it's hard for me to accept that i mean if you do that's your thing and that you want to believe that's cool i'm not saying you're wrong i'm not saying i'm right but like that's just not something i could get next to because fruits yield so many benefits to the human body when consumed properly in a macronutrition type of way you know now you can you can eat yourself into a surplus and do too much but at the same time it's hard because it's, fruits are calorically they're nutritionally dense but not calorically dense you get what i'm saying so you just got to be mindful with that type of stuff can i take slippery elm in any form i would say get the tincture form T to me tincture form is the best form it goes straight to the blood i believe he shops at farmers markets you better quite you you get better quality. Yes, I do. So like there's a place out here called Fresh Pickens. And there's another place in my in my local city that does like a little farmer's meat on every Saturday. But Fresh Pickens has fresh produce every day. And I if I have to go to the store, I'll get stuff. But I typically like to go to farmer's markets because, oh, my God, like granted, you have to clean it yourself, as y'all should be doing anyway. But you got to clean it yourself. But oh, my God, nothing tastes better. Nothing tastes better than farmer's market fruits. 
Nothing. I didn't be, I didn't got fruits from Whole Foods. I didn't got fruits from Walmart. I got fruits from Rouse's. I got fruits from Aldi's. I didn't got fruits from uh, Walgreens, from Bilo, from uh, Super One. I got fr- I got fruits from a bunch of places, but nothing smacks as hard as a locally well organically grown fruit from a market, a farmer's market. My God, it hits on a whole. How 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 future? Not future. How uh. Ty Dolla Time said it was his hair different, hair different. It hits so different. Like, y'all better go, look, peep game. Yes, I'm sure local fruit is better, but also seasonal. It It, it is, but you'll be surprised how many fruits, like, as the farmer's markets go throughout the years, you'll be, so throughout the year, you'll see how many fruits actually, like, one thing I learned, like, especially on our end, is like, well, now, granted, it's different in different climates, because I'm in southern Louisiana, I'm at the bottom, like, our fruit seasons are long are like really 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 long so I'm, I'm speaking from a southern agriculture standpoint not a desert standpoint or y'all other stuff i'm speaking from like a very tropical standpoint but like a lot of our fruits last year around our majority of the year around and but it is you're right it is seasonal so eat according to the seasons but if your local farmers market if they're producing and there's and then talk to them too that's that's the beautiful part about farmers market they be like they're the people that grow them they're there you know, so go talk to them like, hey, what should I be eating around this time? What do you produce around this time? Or what's blah, 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 does that in the third? And also go follow um Epic Gardening, Epic E-P-I-C Gardening, like tilling your garden, like gardening. Go follow them on Instagram and YouTube. I like I learned how to start my uh my raised beds from them, my uh, my berry beds, my strawberry beds and all my lettuce and stuff like that. My papayas and my watermelons like and, yeah, and grow your own fruits. That's what I'm doing. Grow your own, grow your own fruits like is we got to just tap into that next level. Y'all, y'all can do it. Just tap into it um let's see my grandma is the same he's wait what my oh my grandson my grandson is the same he's four and self-learned spanish sign language a genius a genius and oh my god I, y'all 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 giving me what i need to give I, i'm loving the excellence that's within here like y'all are y'all are amazing unfortunately i got sick from god wait hold up ah ah gotta scroll back up unfortunately i got sick from vegan diet it was lacking amino acid etc thyroid disorder so here's the thing this thing about going vegan cause i tell this to a lot of people so when you go vegan, don't go processed vegan. I don't even I don't even like the term vegan because it doesn't encompass what it needs to encompass. You you what you should do is focus on plant based things. So you eat according to the fruits and vegetables and grains and everything that you want to eat as organically as possible. But supplement if you need to supplement. Vimergy V I M E R G Y. Vimergy is one of the best companies with some of the best products for supplementation. And get your B, your uh, what is it called? BCAs, BCAAs. Go get those if you need those. Get your essential amino acids. Even I take that. You know, it's like I'm not about to sit here and act like the nutrients of what we have on the earth is the same as it was 50 years ago when our grandparents was eating and, and growing their own stuff. It's not the same. It's been altered. You know, so that's why I try to stay local. That's why I get the organic. That's why I try to grow my own stuff. That's why I take what I whatever I need to take. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm like. I'm trying to stay as as holistic as possible, which encompasses taking care of every part of your body and being realistic about what's going on. There's so many sick vegans out there. There's so many sick animal protein people out there. But guess what? Everybody on both sides, they're running with these ideologies of, well, if I eat this, this should happen. No, you have to be realistic. If I'm going to eat this, this is going to yield this result. So whatever is lacking, I have to compensate because I have the sense to do so. You know, and not everybody is, is privy to that type of stuff. But if you're going to go vegan, go true vegan. Don't do this processed stuff, this Beyond Meat stuff that got all this other gunk in it. You might as well go get you some doggone beef uh, from and go take the cattle down because it's more processed than the actual meat that they got out there. You know, so it's like just do your due diligence, do your research, and then boom, you'll be good. Um, Let's see. Love music and left handed. I love it. I love it. I'm really sorry, but can I ask what your definition of holistic is? So I got asked this question yesterday. So my my definition of holistic is the natural way. You know, things that ha- alternative. Well, I'm saying alternative, but to me, it's the primary way. But what most people perceive as the alternative way. It's one of those things to where you have to be completely holistically in tune, mind, body, soul. And no in particular order that I say that, but mind, body, soul. You know, so just because I'm eating well or I'm eating holistically doesn't mean that I'm taking care of myself mentally, holistically. So like now my 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 body is off. People don't realize the power of the mind and the soul and the spirit. So it's like if you're eating gunk, but you're trying to pray and do this, that, and the third you only have so much manifestation power because you're killing yourself. If you're eating junk food all day, if your body isn't firing on all, all cylinders, because it's been proven things that they deem spiritual are just things that's moving faster than the speed of light. And we have those things within our body. We're just spirits having a fleshly experience. So what we need to understand is that when all 
factors of our makeup, whether it be spiritual, genetically or anatomically, when all of those things are um, are being fed, are being housed, are being nurtured and taken care of, we're living a holistic life. We're avoiding we're avoiding any medicines that we don't need. We're avoiding any processed things that we don't need. We're avoiding anything that ha that has to do with the detriment of ourselves and our health and our, our mental health and our physical health. You know, to live holistically is to be at one with yourself, to be at one with things, the things around you, to be in tune with everything. And if you're not doing that, you're not holistically living and nobody's excluded from it. Everybody can live holistically, but it's a choice. There's days when you're not going to be motivated. There's days where you're going to be struggling with consistency. Being holistic is a discipline. You, there's days where I don't want to do certain things. I don't want to be consistent because I can be lazy because I'm human. You know, I'm not perfect, but holistically, I'm disciplined. So I get my raggedy behind up and I get it done. There's days I don't feel like running four miles with my dogs. I have hunting breed dogs. They have to be exercised mentally and physically every day. If not, my house is in chaos because all they're going to do is bark and go crazy. So guess what? I go run with them or I make sure I train them 30 to 15 minutes a day. I work out five days a week. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to be no big bodybuilder, but I'm trying to make sure I have strength and I have health cardiovascularly, cardi cardiovascularly and muscularly. You know, so like I'm eating properly. I'm doing my juices in the morning. I'm doing the things that's going to get my body to release this, that, and the third in the morning. Like I take care of myself. That's holistic. People try to make it this big. They didn't turn into this big woke thing and this this big branded commercialized thing when in all actual all actuality is living the most natural way and the most beneficial way of life as possible that you can obtain. But that's my definition. I know it's a big definition, but, you know, thank you. You definitely describe Corey to a T. Is this? Wait a minute. It's cool. Who is this? Oh, you wait. Is this who I think it is? It's not what it's not who I think. See, the friend I was talking about earlier, her child's name is Corey. So and you're saying you're the grandmother or the, the grandparent. My bad. You didn't clarify the grandparent. So if you're talking about but Corey's a girl, oh, it might just be a coincidence. But you have a blessed day, too, because look me, not Corey, not me talking to the grandparent. Like I got all excited. Um, It's rough here in these streets. It definitely is. It definitely is. She said, oh, in the desert. Yeah, it is. Yep, I can call myself a whole food vegan. The rest are risky. I feel that. That's real. Ooh, let me write this down. Preach. B, I can't wait to call you after I got the phone with my mama. Thank you. I appreciate it. Much love. Is that thunder? Oh, that's her. And that's around. Bro, y'all, that's around sound system. Ever since she moved it around, she be, and she loves movies. Why? Because she does. Y'all go follow her. Um, what is it? It's Amber Amber dot days on TikTok. Amber, like the color A M B E R dot days D A Z E. My girlfriend literally builds closets from scratch, like does upholstery, like fabrics, clothing from scratch. Most of everything you see up in here, she built. Like and then and, and it, it was a challenge dating her at first because I like to be a man. I like to build things. I like to fix things. What she does, I got it. And the, and I can't stop it because that's her passion. That's her pastime. So when I'm at work. Or if I'm doing this and all that type of stuff, all I'm hearing is when I'm hearing, and she's doing it. And and that's her thing. You know, I've learned that you just got to let people be people. But um, y'all go follow her. She's really dope at what she at what she does. Um, I'm about to wrap this thing up. I've been on here for a while. I'm about to wrap this thing up because I'm, I really want to call my mama. I really do. I'm excited. But um, and B, I'm, I'm definitely going to call you uh, after this, too. Um, But I'm going to let y'all go because this is a very. Oh, she took the dog. I was like, what that thug? She's taking the dogs out. Um, I'm well. Actually, I'm gonna end with this. I'm gonna end with this. I want. I feel like this needs to be said. If you're up in here right now and you're watching this, one, I believe in divine timing. I believe that nothing happens for no reason. You know, it's like we are all a product of our choices and the things that we manifest consciously and subconsciously. And we're living in a time to where the floodgates of spirituality are buck wide open. So you have to be careful of who and what you entertain that involves the things you see on social media, the food that you put within your body, the music that you listen to, who you converse with and the company that you keep. I'm not telling I'm not coming from no biblical standpoint. When I say this, this is just me giving you all the facts of life right now. We are living in a time where things happen very quickly, whether it logically makes sense or not. I, it will behoove you. Not to wake up every morning and send out some form of gratitude to whatever God you believe in, that you are grateful that you woke up and set your day with intention. Like speak to your day. I'm going to have X, Y and Z today. I'm going to do this. My goal is to feel like this. And you have 
to gird yourself up with your own truth, your own motivation, your own discipline and your own intentions, because nobody else is going to do it for you. We're living in a time where people want to be shashad. Everybody want to be pacified and oh, listen to me just because my feelings hurt or listen to me because I'm feeling proud, proud, proud and blah, blah, blah. And that's cool. That's cool. But at the same time, you have a life to live. You are your own person. Individuality starts with you. Always be yourself. Don't let nothing else determine who you are and what you want to be. Be yourself. Find out who you are, the good and the bad. People say, well, I want to figure out who I'm in. I'm going through this life journey and everybody think it's all sunshine and rainbows. Baby, look, I didn't been through. I didn't saw some ugly parts of myself. And I found some parts of me that wasn't even me because something subconsciously been programmed from family members, from friends, from breakups, from partners. So I had to decipher who's talking to me. I had to decipher what's going on in my life. I don't know who this for, but it's for somebody. But I need y'all to understand that as you move forward, you are charged from this day forward. All 25 of y'all, y'all are charged from this day forward to move intentionally, move with intention in everything that you do and have one of the best experiences that you can have. This is the youngest you'll ever be for the rest of your life as the seconds and the days go by. So it's imperative that you treat it as such. Don't let nobody get to you. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. Don't let nobody speak anything over in your life. That's between you and God. So make sure that you are filling yourself up and filling your spirit up with the things that's going to build you forward, move you progressionally, take all the, the, the cancers off of you and all the leeches and larches, take that stuff off, off, off of you, lift your head up and know that you are beautiful. Know that you are handsome. Know that you are smart. You are destined for greatness. And if nobody loves you, Coach Bryant loves you. Walk in love. Walk in light. Be mindful of what you say to people. Be mindful of what you tell, to what you talk to and what you say to yourself because you're not nobody. You're somebody. You're meant to be here. You are not an accident. I don't care if you was conceived through whatever accident or you wasn't your mom and them until you wasn't supposed to be here. Is that in the third? You're supposed to be here. You are supposed to be here. You, your existence plays a major role in what happens around you and what happens to us. What happens to me? You know, we are all interconnected and I want y'all to live as though you are somebody because you are somebody. I don't care if you having the worst day of your life and you're not in the job that you don't want. And you're not happy and you this, that and the third. All of that can change. And you have the power to change. I don't care how hopeless you are, but lead with love, lead with intention. And just like uh, they just said, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. No cap like that's that's how we are. And y'all have to leave this podcast. Y'all leave this episode with the truth, with intention, with peace. And I pray that over y'all. If y'all spiritual now, that's fine. If y'all if y'all don't want to receive the prayer, I'm not forcing y'all. Y'all can leave right now. That's fine. But this is the part why I really decree and declare. And I pray that y'all have a blessed day. That no weapon formed against y'all shall prosper. That we walking in favor. Everybody, including me, we walking in favor. We walking in blessings. We walking in victory. We walking in happiness. We walking in peace. We're covered. We're protected. We're moving forward. We're achieving. We're achieving our dreams, whether we want to or not. We are achieving our dreams. Everything is happening to us because it's supposed to happen to us. We bless because we supposed to be blessed. We rich because we deserve this. You deserve every. I don't care what nobody tell you. You deserve every blessing. You deserve every happy moment that you get. I don't care what they telling you at work and what these people trying to spit and lie to you. You deserve happiness. Even if you didn't you didn't messed up in times past and you didn't did wrong. That's fine. Forgive yourself. Get over it. Forgive yourself, redeem yourself and move forward because you can be a new creature. You can be something better. But I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Y'all know how we do on this podcast. Y'all y'all live with Brian. So it's, it, it's all organic. It's natural. But I love y'all. Y'all please spread the word. Share my page. Like this, that, and the third. However you want to sow a seed. I don't care. But I just pray that y'all have a blessed day. Everything I said before, I'm so glad that y'all here. Um, this is it's just going to be my new time. I'm, I'm in Central Standard Time. So 3, 3.30. Y'all can catch me around this time. I'm, I'm trying to do at least four days out of the week because I ain't going to like going live is a lot. I have a pretty busy schedule, but I definitely want to get back into this because I feel it's I feel it's just the season for it right now. But leave with love. I hope you all have a great day. Y'all go eat something good because I'm hungry. <laughs> so we about to look. Let's go eat something good on that note, you know, but y'all have a blessed day. Y'all have a good one. I'm about to go call my mama and I'm gonna call B after that. But y'all have a great day, man. That's all I got to say. Y'all be y'all be blessed. Y'all be good, man. Praise God. Y'all be good.